Hi guys and welcome back to another new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I would like to show you guys another new light setup and also retouching overview. But this time it's finally my own work and I can give you guys some deeper insights in how I created this image here right in front of us. Alright, so let's get started with today's tutorial. Let's talk about the light setup first and then we're going to go over to the retouching side. So first of all, as you guys can see, this image is already retouched, so this is not straight out of the camera. Let me quickly go into my retouching folder here, switch everything off and just show you guys the before. So this is basically the before. Okay, so let's quickly talk about the light setup. Also before I even start with the light setup, I've used three or four different images for these other two oaks over here otherwise this image does look like this so let me quickly go and back into my retouching side here if I'm going to go back to body build you will see that I've built some new stuff into this image alright so just showing you guys all of the images do have the same light setup so over here you can see it okay but more of that in the retouching folder okay let's go back to the light setup First of all, again, in a shot on location, it's in a house and over here we have four models, which is a band and we kind of place them around a game, that, so it's kind of giving you a feel that they're playing a game at late at night and having some fun. But we weren't able to shoot this at night, so as you guys can see, it's still daylight outside, so we close the curtains and in Photoshop obviously try to make it a little bit more darker and also just show the warm feel to it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the lights. First of all, as you guys can see here in the back, we do have a strobe without a grid and it is spilling pretty much good at the curtains, also illuminating a lot of the wall here and also giving a lot of light into the room. Also giving a really nice soft rim light behind the person. This is without a softbox but the strobe was quite far back so it's still soft over here and not a really hard rim light around him. And then as you guys can see over here I also used a big octobox with a boom and that we actually held right over the persons. So let me go back into my folder here. I would move this in now, this is obviously just right over them, so over the game we used a big big oxta box with a diffusing material giving some really soft light falling in here into this area. Also spilling a little bit onto his faces, we could have actually powered this up a little bit more, but obviously we didn't. So I used a few different images like I said before to get a better shot of him and also a better shot of this person. So over here again use just one light from the back illuminating just the side here and this person into the back giving us some nice rim light and then used a big octa box just for the center and you can also see that that octa box is spilling a little bit here onto the top just illuminating that room as well a little bit. Obviously like I said before wanting to create a very darkish or a very late night mood we actually darkened all of this in Photoshop again. Okay, so let me go over to the retouching side now and then we're just going to talk a little bit about how I actually manipulated it so it looked a little bit better. Okay, let me close here my light setup folder and we're going to go over to the retouching side. So obviously now on the retouching side there's a lot to talk about and it's a lot of things so let me just zoom in here a little bit so we can discuss this a little bit better. Okay, so first of all, I started out, this was the main shot that I got and I was supposed to create now a really moody image looking like this. Alright, so first of all, I started out with building the body. What I mean with that is building the body of this image, getting everything to look right with the persons. Okay, so let me open that folder. In here, I first of all had a few things. So the guy with the blue pulley over here changed him. So over there you can see it now, changed him, then I changed Jason, the person at the back, also lying a little bit more to the back, really relaxed. Then I have also added the fire into here, let me just open that folder, adding a new fire into there, and then I also did a lot of cleaning up in this image. As you guys can see, if I turn it on and off, I tried to create some new plans, or actually merged plans out from another image, added these plans then also extended the curtain here and also cleaned up this desk or whatever you want to call it. So over here let me turn that off and on again so you guys can see it. 
that's without and that's with the new stuff okay so clean that up and then also save that also down here clean something up here I just noticed it so here was a little bit of a light spilling a reflection coming I it also clean that so it looks a little bit better a bit more concentrated just on the center not too much stuff that, dis that distracts from the center point okay close that again so that was basically my body building my first image building the image that I actually wanted to get out of the camera unfortunately I didn't so I had to rebuild this in Photoshop okay then also build light so over here I try to now darken the top a little bit so let's open this in here, as you guys can now see, I imported another image and just brightened the picture here in the top, just giving this a little bit more light, because obviously when the fire is on, everything looks a bit lighter here from the top. Also, I will give this later a halo with also the candles over here, so everything was just illuminating these areas a little bit. Okay, over here, also with levels again, I did another new adjustment layer here with also masking as you guys can see and then I just darkened all of this here at the top so if I'm going to turn this on and off again you'll see that's without and that's with so just darken those areas a little bit obviously you're losing a lot of punch here in your center point but that we're going to fix later okay then I went over to retouching and details like I always do retouch and clean everything up a little bit like I always used to say Retouch your image here. I cleaned up that thing at the back, the shadow over there. Let me just turn that on and off again. So clean that up. And also here on the desk again, a lot of reflections. Also the cello here at the back. Cleaned everything up a little bit again. So that's after and before and after. Okay, and then retouch copy. Also made a duplicate of that and retouched on that again just to have a solid new layer with a mask and just mask out some stuff again. Okay, then I used a dodge and burn layer. If I'm going to turn this on now, dodge and burn over here, turn that on as well. And now you guys can see a lot of new things here. Illuminating, first of all, just the surrounding of the candles. Then also giving him a little bit more pop in his face. Him, him, and him. Also just brightening those guys up a little bit. And also the whole foreground here, our game, just bringing in a little bit more light. So let me turn this off and on again so you guys can see the difference. So that's the before and that's the after. Before and after. Okay, then I went into the candles here and with the candles again used a lot of different brushes just to get those candles in here. As you guys can see, I took another image just from the fire and adding in these three lights here at the top just giving or showing that the candles were actually on. Okay, as you guys can see now. And I also brightened with dodging again this area around the candles because later I'm going to add a little bit of a yellow feel to it and then it looks like this candle was illuminating this area over here. Okay, minimize that and now over to the look. So this is the very important part for me where I just choose to create a complete new mood, a color mood, a gray to this image showing a complete new feel. So if I want to turn this on, it's going to change completely so over here I just experimented with a lot of new things, also used some plugins again with Nix software and then obviously using different uh, color fields in Nix software. So let's go all the way down to here. I'm going to turn off all the other layers just to discuss this quickly. Okay, let's start with the first layer that I've used is just merging all the layers again together to one layer so we have one solid base to work on. Then I created a little bit of a vignetting around this image as you guys can see now which already darkened this room a little bit more and also gave you or gives this image a little bit more of a dark a night feeling. Then also darken and lightening the center so again darkening the areas again another small vignetting lighting just the centerpiece here. This is obviously a bit strong, so I could still take the opacity down or play with it. I didn't in that moment, so let's check what I did next. Add a little bit of an ink color, a more yellowish color to it. It's quite a hassle for me to really find the right color. I experiment with a lot of different colors, yellows, green, and blue. And then over here as well, another green tint to it, finding the right color for this. So this is all with a plugin called Nix Software. Then I went back into Selective Color again in my gray tones over here. Also played a road with the gray tones, getting a little bit more of a touch here. Again, a bit more yellowish. Save that most probably as a new layer. 
then also added here a complete new brush in with the candles over here and also a little bit of a yellow tint with another brush just giving this whole f image another night feeling okay going up a little bit more here and then also layer 22 here just punching that up a little bit more then I again used a exactly I used another vignetting and masked that out again a little bit so let's see that before again without the vignetting and then also another vignetting and also masked out the candle here obviously don't want to have the vignetting going over the candle then also layer 23 here again a new punch to that again another new layer again on a very soft opacity here with a little bit of a blue green also giving this image again a new tint to it it looked very green yellowish so adding a little bit of a blue to this to just make it a more punchier color and then all of last adding as you guys can see here another spot of yellow just giving this image again a yellow warm feel from the fire and from the candles but this was also on a very low opacity as you guys can see six percent opacity then back into selective colors and also tweak the colors a little bit back to the green side so that was my last step that i did for the look so overall that was my before getting it to look more like i actually wanted it to look so a warm greenish bluish color feel then back to fine tune in fine tune again added a new complete layer so we have a new base to work on and then i obviously want to get now a last 20 percent and also a pop into this image so again a new brightness and contrast uh, adjustment layer here just to brightening this image a little bit more and also getting the contrast to look right then again another feel in a nick software also adding a little bit more ink again and also getting the contrast to pop a little bit more then also added just levels to this adding a little bit more or pushing the highlights a little bit more okay that was my fine tune and then last effects and the final touch to this so over here again let me just turn off everything the final layer that was our final image happy with color and everything maybe I experimented a little bit more with selective color again over here and then I used again a two brushes two new layers with brushes over here to illuminate some smoke coming from these cigars so over here I'm going to turn that on and off as you guys can see now smoke is gone new smoke that is all some brushes okay so that was my last 20 percent in these two folders fine-tuning and effect getting everything to look pretty good okay over here last image that was my final layer saved it at this and that was my final image okay so let's just have a look quickly again so that was the before and this was the after so a lot of new retouching again used a few images and also a lot of color adjustments getting the look and feel right also used a lot of dodge and burning and also again like I said a lot of color illuminating different areas especially getting the stalker with vignetting orange and also a lot of yellow and orange in here getting a really warmish nightish feel Alright, so that's my quick tutorial for today. Please do give me a thumbs up if you like these tutorials. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this or what you would like to see in the future. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys and see you all next time in a new tutorial. Bye-bye.